Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with our October mystery reveal. Um, if you don't want this to be spoiled, click out of the video. Otherwise, keep on watching. Um, I don't think this is a spoiler at this point because this video is a little bit overdue. Um, but just wanted to give that warning in the beginning. I'm not really giving away much like this. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over now. So here is our October mystery in champagne gold foil. And it is so beautiful. A lot of y'all really liked how this kit came out. Again, this is in our new format that we introduced in the September mystery. So let's just go ahead and get into it. It's a lot of like greens with some really bright um, like gold foil with it. I think that's so pretty together. Um, and I feel like this can definitely be a winter kit without being Christmas. Like the only thing that kind of screams Christmas to me is this wreath with the bells, but honestly, I think it's fine. I think this is definitely can be used in the winter time. So, um, here we have a little table with some houses and a like vase with some pine branches sticking out of it. And then we have some foiled pine cones and such. It's so pretty. This front door, I wish my front door looked this good, but you have some foiled pieces in the garland around it. And then these little lanterns here. Here we have a blanket ladder with a little basket with some firewood and pine branches in it. And then I put a foiled some foiled pine cones and a foiled pillow and then some little dangles. The quote says, cozy days ahead. We have this staircase with the garland, which now that I'm thinking about it, um, I don't think that I put my garland on my stairs this year. I should probably do that before Christmas comes. And then we have these foiled picture frames here. And then of course we have that wreath that I was talking about with the bow and the bells. So this is the October mystery full boxes. Here's the boxes page. I love these colors, this dark green, light green, this like taupey gray color. And then this brown is so pretty. Again, with this champagne gold foil, it is gorgeous. These headers here with the pine, so pretty. These florals with some foiled pine sprigs and pine cones. And then these little houses down here. This wood grain is so stunning. I love wood grain in kits when I get a chance to do it. And then the ovals. This does have the updated reformat um, in the September mystery. This was a little bit different, but here you have your skinny foiled headers here. And then your... Um, your lace doesn't have that like white edge on it. So, and then you, of course you have your date covers, your bottom washi, this, I wanted to do the wood grain down here, but you have the um, pine here that matches those headers. And then of course we have the deco over here, which is stunning. Um, let me move these out of the way. We'll get to those after. We have your floral deco sheet, jam-packed with some florals and individual floral elements. Here is that journaling sheet. I try to put as much wood grain on here without it being, like, insane. So um, I hope that I put, like, a decent amount on here. And then, of course, just all the different colors, the clip art pieces pulled in, the stamps. So pretty. The deco sheet, I love this sheet so much. Um, with the house and the wreath and just all those little elements from before just in a bigger format. And of course I pulled in some of the individual greenery pieces here and had them be bigger as well just because it matched so perfectly. And so that's everything for those pages. And then we have your floral trims here. As usual, I love the pine cones that are um, like within those florals. And then here is our little pine sampler. So you have your pine like washi, and then here you have this dotted one with some pine sprigs and pine cones. You have a divider, and then like a mini divider, and then just little individual sprigs. You have the same dotted washi but in divider form. You have some pine mini deco pieces, some super ultra teeny tiny mini deco here, and then the cluster deco as well as your little foiled piece this month. So I feel like that goes really well together for 
this kit and can easily be used with it but that is everything for the October mystery let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below I just realized that the floral deco on the sheet says September mystery um but it's very much October mystery so um it's fine um but yeah let me know what you think about this month's subscription down below and yeah that's everything I will talk to you guys later bye